I'm Bradley Singleton, also known as The Brad. Mm -hmm. And together we are The, the Deep Connection. Connection. Make sure you guys tune in at 8 o'clock on Sunday for Facebook Live and the link below. We talk about everything from news, gossip, sports, entertainment, and politics. You don't want to miss it. Well, they are. <laughs> See you there. From the station that's on your side, you're watching News 19 at noon. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Bradley Singleton. Well, 21-year-old Dylan Roof was in federal court today to face dozens of federal charges. A federal magistrate entered not guilty pleas on 33 Even federal charges. Even though she wasn't realized as a tragedy here at Mother Emanuel, the emotion has still been high among the congregation workers. However, Ms. Rose McGee may think she has a solution to soothe the soul here in Charleston. Football season is back here in the Midlands, and eight teams have come to Camden, South Carolina to battle it out on the gridiron for the 40th annual Shrine Jamboree. I kind of want to get your opinion on, you know, how African Americans are perceived in television and how they can break those perceptions and kind of um, make television their own in a sense. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, when I was growing up, um, most of the time if you saw a black man on the news, it was because he was in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. You very rarely saw uh, images of African Americans that were positive or that were even really similar to the images you saw of white Americans. A man has been charged with murder in the stabbing death of Morgan Freeman's step-granddaughter. 33-year-old Edna Hines was found lying in the street in front of her Manhattan apartment early yesterday morning. The New York Police Department has charged 30-year-old Lamar Davenport, according to police. Davenport is believed to have been in a relationship with Hines. Investigators say Davenport is undergoing a psych evaluation at a hospital. Even though many snakes in South Carolina aren't venomous, the experts at All Things Wild say if one is fighting in the yard, call them immediately and wait for it to be rescued. Well, a Sumter restaurant found itself in hot water when a DHA inspection discovered live chickens in the kitchen. On June 30th, Kobe's Japanese Steakhouse was visited by DHEC for a routine inspection. When they got there, they found seven to eight chickens, both dead and alive, in the kitchen. The restaurant got points deducted and overall C grade. DHEC did a follow-up inspection a week later and gave Kobe's an A. Amy Zhao, the owner of the restaurant, says it will never happen again. My restaurant is, uh, I do the best I can, you know, good food, you know, a lot of customers. Like, oh, you do the best. I say, I, I proud myself, I proud myself because uh, in the 11 year, um, we have a lot, a lot of good customers. A little rain didn't stop the Columbia Police Department from holding their second food truck Friday, but they attracted many vendors from across the Midlands area. Kiki's Chicken and Waffles name one. I think music is important because music is sort of like social media. It can connect different people, you know, from different backgrounds, ethnicities. You can't put a color to music. I think music is important because it, that's one thing that joins all of us, and music speaks when no words are being said. So. Uh -oh. 